What's up, everybody? I'm Johnny. Hi, Seekers. I'm Diana. And we're here to show the haul from our Harry Potter 21st anniversary celebration yesterday. We went to New York, and here's the stuff. So our adventure yesterday consisted of us taking the ferry to Harry Potter to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And then we went to a yummy little deli right across the street, had some great sandwiches. And then we went to the Harry Potter store in New York. Now, The Cursed Child, the, the play itself was actually a really good play. We enjoyed it. We are both Hufflepuffs, proud and loyal Hufflepuffs. <laughs> and the first shirt we got was they, the Hufflepuff one. They, mo they modernized the logo a little bit. Uh, you can see the badger in the H. And they have one for each house. Uh, obviously, we only have the Hufflepuff one. But I think that the way they did the design, I really like it. A little more uh, understated. If you know, you know type of thing. If you don't, it just looks cool. And it's a it's a little stiff. We like softer t-shirts. It's not it as bad. Right. Yeah, once I wash it, it should loosen it up some. It's not as bad as some of the wrestling t-shirts we've gotten. I won't say the <laughs> brand, um, but very nice shirt. This shirt was simply amazing. So all the Patronuses of the main characters, the stag, the doe, the dog, the otter. The horse. The horse is on there? There is no, oh, yeah. Yeah, yep, and the phoenix. Is the phoenix on there? Yep. It's very understated that on the sleeve, it shows the cursed child. And we found something very interesting out when we were checking out. Supposedly. We haven't tried it out yet. We're not going to be able to do it on camera. But when you go to the theater that the show is in, there's a bunch of QR codes around that have Instagram filters that bring the stuff to life. It's magic. So supposedly, we were told if you use the Q, uh, the Instagram filter on the shirt, the Patronuses will do stuff. We did find that they had this really yummy drink. What was it called? The Golden Snitch? I believe it was, the golden, it was called the Golden Snitch. There was apparently, there, we found out later, there was an alcoholic version of it up at the other, con the other concession stand. Uh, I forget what was in that. And I'm, we're not entirely sure what's in this one because we should have looked that up. We first. know it's apple flavor caramel, and there's a third ingredient, and neither of us can remember the third ingredient. It's very frustrating. It is. But it came in this great little souvenir cup. Let's see if I can. There we go. It's a cute little cup, a little sippy cup. I was using it last night on the way home and put some water in it. It was actually, it's pretty good. So, like, it doesn't leak, which is good because sometimes these cups leak. I uh, ended up buying just some candy there. They had a little, another cup that was full of all like gummy worms and gummy candy and stuff like that. So, we actually have a second cup. To add to our pin collection that we already have from Universal, Disney, from everywhere, <laughs> and conventions, and major wrestling figure podcast, we grabbed the Cursed Child pin. This is the New York exclusive one. This is there wasn't a ton that was like New York exclusive. It was a lot of because the show's in London. I think some, a couple other places uh -huh. too. Tokyo, so I think. they really kind of only had one or two things that was New York exclusive. There was this, and there was a mug, I think, which we did not get. But the pin was cool. The pin was ten dollars. And I believe I forgot to mention, but each of the t-shirts were $40 a piece. No. We also picked up the magnet, which was, it, I think it's a nice size. That's what she said. Oh, hey. <laughs> You're welcome. It's very, uh, it's actually a heavy, it's, it's metal. So what's the pin? So, and then this was $10 as well. Before we show the last pin, we want to just add in a little spoiler alert here. If you've never seen the show, then jump ahead about 10, 10 seconds. seconds if you have seen it you'll know what we're talking about so we did pick up one of the dark mark pins as well it's very nice and this was how much five bucks we also got as a gift a pen it has that same logo on it it's very nice apparently is a very good pen a friend of mine has one he's a big fan of it he knows who he is but it's a very nice black heavy pen uh, and this was $12. So then we get to the store and then Diana started buying stuff. The Harry Potter store in New York has a lot of the, um, what do you call it? The, the license, like the, uh. A little more upscale stuff too. Not, not licenses. What's the word I'm looking for? The brands. Partners. 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 So like it had the Pottery Barn. It had, um. Pandora. Lounge Fly, uh, Fly, uh, Pandora. Um. Basically, if there's a Harry Potter Noble partner Collection. out there. There's a good chance, especially the higher end stuff, like the Pottery Barn, the Noble Collection, you're going to see a lot of that stuff there. Uh, it was really, it's a cool store. And one of the things she found was, I don't know who makes this, but. So these are, these were $77. Look I am so box, excited. by the way. This box is incredible. It is a proper cool box. 
So we... <laughs> That's why I'm keeping all this in. So. <laughs> so the box he's talking about looks, it's like a little trunk. It's a little it's a carrot shop. potter trunk. And you get this whole little gimmick inside. Drop them. It's felt inside, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very nice. It's the first time I've had a chance to see it. Then you have the little Harry Potter New York store pouch. Go bag. They are Ravenclaw diadem diadem <laughs> earrings, which I always have a problem saying. It's a weird word. They are very nice. They're just a little something. I can wear them to work. But they're cute. And they're cute. They have the Hot Topic type stuff too that you'd find, like the, the costume jewelry type stuff. Mm -hmm. Next pin we got was for the Harry Potter store pin as well. And it's the Phoenix logo. This was $10. They didn't have a lot of Makuza stuff. If you're familiar with Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beast stuff, they do a lot of stuff in America, which is Makuza. That's the magical uh, agency in America. And there wasn't a lot of Makuza stuff you, there, even though you would think, being that the store is in New York and that's where Makuza is centered out of, you'd be able to find a lot of cool stuff. There wasn't. So there was this lanyard and four pin set. So I picked it up because I like it. Figure I'll hang it up, I'll, I'll put the pins on the lanyard and we'll just kind of hang it over something. <clears throat> and I like the Makuza stuff because I'm American, not English. So and I, it was 20 USD. Yeah. So a, a little hint, apparently downstairs in the, near the dark art section. Right next to the restrooms. Yes, nearby, yeah. There's a sale area. It's a little clearance area. There wasn't a lot in there. There was a bunch of Christmas stuff when we were down there. So we only, we picked up a few things. So this one is a Christmas cracker. It's an English Christmas cracker. Thought it'd be kind of fun to have. I don't know if we're gonna do it now or wait till Christmas. We haven't really decided what we're gonna do with it. Why don't we do it on TV, on the film right now? Sure. You wanna save it to the end? We'll save it to the end. Okay. Confederation of Wizards. This pin from Fantastic Beasts was part of the collection downstairs by the clearance section and we bought this for $4. Can't be $4. And I like the... the... And these are metal. Metal enamel pins. Metal enamel pins. And I like the, the the expanded universe stuff of Harry Potter, not just the Harry Potter stuff, but the Fantastic Beast stuff. Stuff that expands the universe, you know. And it's fun to me, so I support it when I can. All right, uh, the next thing, another Fantastic Beast thing. This is a magnet, I believe. For $3 was the Krillin, which is the character that helps decide the next leader of a magical confederation of wizards in Fantastic Beast and the Secrets of Dumbledore, I believe it was. Yes. So another thing in the clearance section, they had these pink limited edition pins for the store itself, the New York store with the New York logo. And these were only $7.50. Four pins for $7.50 for a limited edition. I'm a sucker for limited edition. So they had these magnets upstairs. You know what Pegasus is though. And it was very cool. It is um, rubberized kind of. I believe so, yeah. It's kind of like a rubberized magnet. Yeah. Very cool. And this is only $8. And to follow in line with our t-shirt collection, couldn't ha help it but picking up the New York branded store. So this is the Mina Lima exclusive shirt. Not there, There's a couple of different New York shirts, but this is actually the Mina Lima art designed one of the New York store. This one is one of the soft t-shirts. Um, it's got Statue of Liberty in there. You got a golden snitch and a wizard on a broom. Presumably Harry. Moving on to the next thing. They have a whole new line there of... Um, athleisure Quidditch, wear. Athleisure wear, thank you. It's a weird word. <laughs> athleisure wear. So they had running shorts, they had a, a jacket, they, they didn't had see the shorts, but apparently a t-shirt. So I picked up the sports bra. You get a little logo there. And then on the back, you have the Quidditch logo again. Subtle, nice, little gold sides. I like shiny things, so... It does. Niffler me. Purchased it. Also, we like buying Christmas ornaments when we go traveling somewhere. So this is the Harry Potter New York Christmas ornament. And what on the back is the normal, this is the logo that the, or no, I'm sorry. This is like a phoenix and the cup and a bunch of cool stuff on the back. And I just realized there was a little something sticking out from it and I couldn't figure out what it was. So I started pulling it and more stuff started coming out and I'm like, what the heck? Apparently, you gotta love when you buy something and you know, it's a surprise. It is a ball that can open. Is there anything in it though? I don't know. Nope, just. Oh! 
There's a pin in it. Okay. <laughs> well, surprise. So when you purchase the ball, it shows that we weren't reading very well. Clearly. And this Christmas ball was $15. So you get a nice, I mean, it's a hard plastic. It's a weird pin to go in that ball, though. And we'll show the pin. Inside is a Welcome to Hogwarts pin. Bonus, because we bought it just for the ornament. Uh, we collect the Starbucks Where You Were, I think they're called, or the Where You Been mar mugs or something like that. And we have a ton of them from the different places we've been. Maybe one day we'll do a video on all those, because they're fun. But I kind of wanted to get, get away from those mugs and get some other, like, new mugs. So we now have two, because like she said, we are Hufflepuff. Uh, we are Hufflepuffs. So they had uh, one of these for every house, but it is a giant Hufflepuff mug. And I like the back. It's kind of got like a kind of a modern font. Like a modern font Hufflepuff. The inside is, of course, yellow. Oh, loyalty. Patience. Patience. All the, the normal virtues of the Hufflepuff. That's really cool. That's really nice. But I really like it. And microwave, dishwasher safe. Uh, $15. Yeah, I only buy stuff that's microwave and dishwasher safe because I'm lazy. Uh, but $15, it's a giant mug. I don't know how many ounces it is. I didn't pull the sticker off yet, but it's really big. It's really nice. It's very heavy. So I like it. So you can't go to a Harry Potter store and... Not have butterbeer. Not get some butterbeer. And at the New York store, butterbeer automatically comes into these plastic wear glasses. They're nice. I don't like, however, you have no option. It's $12. Souvenir mug, and that's it. You have no other choices. I do like, though, they have little wash stations, so when you're done drinking, you put your mug on top of these little uh, spouts, you push down, and water shoots up in and cleans it off nice, so you don't have to carry around a sticky butterbeard-infested mug. Now, like I said, we've been to Universal, so we've had the Wizarding World. Hot, cold, frozen. We've also had the, the, the bottled ones. Um yes. This is the same butterbeer as those bottles. The ones in the bottles obviously do not have the white foam on top. I don't know what that foam is, but it makes the world a difference. It does. Now, the, the, the bottled butterbeer is still really good. Yes. And if you have never been to Universal, I highly recommend spending the $12, getting yourself a cup of cold... Oh, I would spend more than $12. I would keep drinking them all day, but cups you, are a little small. But you, it's, it's a butterscotch type of uh, drink. Butterscotch and soda. the white foam on top is just a sweet little foam. If you like cold brew, it's uh, similar to that. So had their butterbeer ice cream. We didn't try it this time. We've had it down in Universal. It's good. It's not the best. We didn't love it. Uh, the one girl we were talking to who worked at the personalizations booth, uh, she was saying that the ice cream is excellent. We did not try it, uh, but it was there. They also had a bunch of really nice cookies and little cake stuff. All really nice designs and really looked really cool, but we didn't try any of those either. So then we went to the Mina Lima part of the store. And Diana bought a couple of small things and one big thing. So we walked into that area. It's... I was looking forward to this. The Mina Lima part was just so beautifully done. You walk in there and there's two different kinds you can get. You can get standard format uh, or premium format. Obviously, huge price difference. Uh, premium has foiling and also signatures. Yes. Um, and they're limited, more limited numbers. Uh, usually a in the area limit, of yeah. 250 editions opposed to 1,000 editions. And... We had a whole bunch, a whole bunch of these. We had about, probably about $1,500 worth of In our hands at one point. That we wanted. And obviously, we're not going to, we're not quite that crazy. Diana was smart. We picked one print, and we got the premium edition we both could kind of agree on. And then she found these, which will are very cool and saves us a little bit of money in a way and can still do some nice stuff with. So they have postcards and actual Do gift always. cards yeah let's open the postcards so first we both love owls <laughs> and we love the stores of diagon alley yes. and hogsmeade again that extended universe stuff that we like so the, the diagon alley extends the magic exactly so we had the premium print of this exact same thing that was, I think it was $350 I think it was, I think it was a 275 or 275 It was higher because it was bigger. Um, they, the pricing was by the size of them. So these are a nice little option versus getting the big one for $250, $275, you know. Right. And the price of this will actually pop up here. <laughs> cool. Uh, but then she also found this pack of postcards. They had a bunch of different packs of postcards of different styles. So they had... Book covers, they had random stuff, which I think this is more random stuff. 
So we're going to go through these very quickly because there's a lot. And again, we'll put the price up here. Uh, so you have the Marauder's Map. They're just postcards, nothing special to them. Hogwarts Crest. The envelope that Harry gets. I can't see the screen. You're this good. is a problem. I'll just hand to you. Um, go ahead. I didn't see what that was. It's a notebook, a Weasley, a Ron Weasley notebook for Hogwarts. Oh, that makes sense. Because this one is Hermione. Just like her notebook. Oh, the Yule Ball Invitation, which we actually have another version of. From a Litjoy box, I believe. A Gryffindor. If you're a Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin, if you comment on this video and you tell us that, you never know. Maybe we'll send you a surprise. Yeah. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, Wampy Willow. That's pretty cool, actually. That is very cool. So these are actually labels for pensive files. Uh, there's names on there. It's a little hard to read, but there's names of the different uh, people whose memories Dumbledore collected. Hufflepuff Crest. That one we're keeping. Uh, Harry Potter's Letter from the School. Uh, Harry's Notebook. Oh, it's their Quidditch numbers, I guess. Okay. I'm assuming. While she's looking at that, platform nine and three quarter stick uh, uh, ticket. One of Diana's favorite things. Yes, I believe that's exactly what it is. Okay. Ravenclaw. Why oh, you do that one? Favorite place I love to visit is Hogwarts. Dumbledore's Army. Slytherin. Nothing wrong with Slytherin. Lots of things wrong with Slytherin. Ooh, I like this. Uh, potion bottle labels. A lot of different potion labels. And I'll let you do this one because this will be one of your favorites. A little boring, but it's cool. Ah. And the Hogwarts Express. I do love the train. She does very much. Someday you'll see when we do a tour of our collection. She does indeed. All right, uh, why don't you do the big print? And the print we decided to go on was actually a premium format. And it is, there's, here's your certificate. It's a hundred and, number 153 of 250. And it is a great, great image. We are big fans of Quidditch. As you can see to this wall, when she moves out, I can point to it. <laughs> Try and keep the glare off. This is the Slytherin Gryffindor Quidditch match. You can Quidditch see the, match. There's some foiling. It's a little hard to see on here, I guess, but there's foiling on the snitch. On the word. And foiling on the word on the bottom. You can see over here is a kind of a Quidditch wall we got going on. I have my Nimbus, I mean, my Firebolt Noble Collection replica she got me. We have the rules of Quidditch up here. Hedwig bringing Harry the broom. So we have all that. And then now for Diana's actual anniversary present that we got, I got her. Well, the second to last thing. Second to last. Inside. Oh, yeah, do that first. Sorry, forgot about that. Second to last thing we have Not is, my anniversary present. <laughs> not my anniversary present. The, something that we can actually share. But when we were in Universal Studios, he purchased the Quidditch Captain. Yes, it's a Quidditch Captain shirt. Uh, and you can get your name on the back. I was wearing it in the video you saw earlier. But I never actually showed the shirt off. I probably should have. But it has says Cisco on the back. It's very cool. It's a yellow Hufflepuff shirt. So my favorite part of the books and movies would be the Triwizard Tournament. Just they're very much enjoy that whole aspect of it. And was very excited to see the fact that I could get my very own Triwizard shirt. Has the Hogwarts logo there. Long sleeves. So we obviously got the Hufflepuff colors. And of course Cisco in the back. So I'm willing to share this with Johnny if he likes to borrow it sometimes. I'm a big fan. I'd like to, yes. Thank okay. You. And now for Diana's. And now for the last thing. I have been looking for something and wanting something like this for the longest time. And I, I, I knew it existed. There's something in Universal Studios Orlando that's similar to it. It just is not something that I was ever that impressed with we there. We have an audience now. We do. Cody's watching us now. We, as he was saying, we just set this whole area up behind us, which is why we're filming here. And you and kind of see it, but not really. We're going to show you a better spot right now. But back here we have, Diana got this. No, no. Take it over there. No, show them what we have it on right now. 
Diana has this beautiful Hedwig statue. Amazingly heavy, beautiful statue. Right now it's sitting on a step stool. A step ladder thing. I don't know if I can see it. So she wanted to find her something better for that. I wanted to find her something better for it. Last but not least, we we'll purchased post a the Hogwarts tr the trunk. So our goal is to put Hedwig on top of this in front of the broom and have it sitting in our living room, which I am so excited for. And it's got, it's a really nice, it's a, I'm assuming fake leather bound. Probably. It's a <laughs> wood on the uh, inside. Inside and like the outside, like the, the it's um, reinforced wood, like uh, reinforced by more wood on the outside. It has snaps and buckles. And it does open. For free, by the way, the Triwizard Tournament thing and this, you get engraved for free with your purchase. So you only get three initials and they don't have any kind of no special symbols, symbols no or symbols, numbers. No symbols, no letters. No just numbers. Letter, just letters. Just letters because we're going to put our anniversary date, 323, but they didn't do that. So we decided to do Diana and Johnny. So, and this is, it's, it's incredible. You want to open it up for them? I'm not sure I can hold it. Okay. So you have to unsnap it first and then you got yours. Mm-hmm. And it is a really nice size case. And like we actually saw, uh, it, it's all wood inside. Yep. And as we were picking up ours, uh, there was actually two little girls. One got there's a smaller size, and then this size, and there's like two little girls who got theirs. So presumably they'll actually use this to travel with, which is very cool. And this was a hundred dollars. Yes. With the the uh, name. It was a hundred dollars, guys. Very, very happy. It survived the three-mile walk back to the ferry yes. <laughs> last night. We'll put a picture in at the end of this video of what it looks like with Hedwig sitting on top in front of the broom. So that was our haul from the Cursed Child and the Harry Potter New York store. And as we promised, we'll do the cracker. So what do I do? Just, just twist or pull? I think it's just pull. There oh, you go. That went poorly. Uh, Got I it. think that means I get to keep the stuff when I get the end. I don't know how it all works. So there's a pen. There is a cute little pen, and it is... Oh, it's got the little snitch. Hold on, let me get it out of there. That's it, really? Two things? Yep, two things. Yes, okay. That was a little disappointing. I didn't read it. How much was that again? Nine dollars. Nine dollars isn't bad. No. You can use the pen. You'll like this. This is from the Carrot Shop. Which is where your earrings are from. There you go. And it is just Harry Potter... And the copyright, I believe. And a little, little golden stitch hangs down in the back. It's a small pen. And it also came with a time turner pin, ironically enough. Doesn't move, doesn't do anything. It's just a nice little sparkly time turner pin. So that's Very our haul, guys. The haul. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. So keep seeking the adventure. Yes. Uh, go seek your own adventure. Follow us along for our adventures. Facebook, YouTube, comment, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff, share. We appreciate it. We appreciate your support. Let us know what we could do better. Let us know what we did great. And we'll talk to you on the next adventure. I think the next adventure is going to be Los Angeles. So see you on the West Coast. <laughs>